Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let me ask a serious question. Yeah. So in the, in mm. the inception of the BOP, right. what is the resistance internally? Mm. No. Do people say this isn't going to work? You're going to no. scare people off or anything like that? No. No. Any conflicts with, uh, you know... There's some general. So one of the major conflicts we had was about 20 years ago, and it was um, a website won't work. This new this new <laughs> online stuff. What the hell are you wow. doing a website? For? Yeah, yeah. So that was Can you believe that, was that? Old school and new school. I'm and you know so I had I had that wind at my back, and I was right. like, see, I you know I don't want to say this, but I have never sold this to my father, but the website's working out pretty good. Uh -oh. So with that learning <laughs> moment, um, I don't push back at all mm -hmm. on new ideas. I, I came in as a 30-year-old. The 30-year-olds coming into Brownells have energy. They've got ideas. Um, I'm realizing at 50-plus that uh, it, my ideas are, are dated. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, um, you got principles there, but they, you know they call the values. Are there. Those values yeah. haven't changed. But yeah. how you do it? Like, yeah. What TikTok, you have to do is be able to listen to the young, the young blood coming yeah. into the system. And if you have that mindset, I think that works, right? There's always there's new younger people coming in to work at Brownells, or that you guys are getting out there and dealing with. And it's just being yeah. able to to listen to people. Uh, go ahead, Walt. I think you wanted to get something. No. In here. Well, yeah, it, it made me think about um, the companies that haven't made it like Sears and JC Penney's and mm -hmm. all these big retailers didn't embrace the internet when they should have embraced the internet. Yeah. yeah. And and maybe paired up with Blockbuster. Or, or well or, <laughs> or paired up with the giants that were coming on right. and get their products and get their name out and these other things and now they're all gone. Yeah. And it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad like Sears. I mean Sears was the internet of yeah. of of the beginning with their catalogs. I mean that was the internet at one yeah. time. That's right. You know, yeah, you open you know the catalog what? They, and they're you open not the gone. Wishing. They're not gone. The companies might be or might be on the brink of that, but it evolved into something else. That's what happened and they just didn't hear. So we were talking about Amazon when Amazon first came in, everyone was like, "What's this guy doing?" Right. He's selling books. Yeah, who wants books over the books. internet? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah. well that's, that's what I'm saying. So then you realize, well, I need to bring other stuff in here. Mm -hmm. I need to bring consumables and all that stuff that everybody uses every day. Mm -hmm. And and you know what do you do when you want something? You get on the internet, and you type in eBay or Amazon, or if you're looking for gun stuff, you you type in the the guys that are on the internet would sell gun parts, and you get what you want most of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, normal yeah. times you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, unfortunately, you know the the mom and pop. I mean, the idea of having a I mean, there are still gun shops, obviously. Some people want to touch things before they buy it, and I get that. Um, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's really put a – even those guys need to get on the – so to get on the train and, and embrace the Internet and, you know, nothing else to spread their own um, gospel. You know, it's, it's hard to convince some people. You know, they're so, they're so set in their ways that, yeah. There, there's a couple of things that retail stores – well, by law, we have to have a retail – a retail store to make that transaction of the core product the firearm so the retail stores will always be there mm -hmm. and, and god bless them all they have the best chance to build the the culture the local culture for firearms they have the best chance for the relationship building they have the best chance to engage new new gun owners or anybody who wants protection or competition and and to build that local community communities are still face to face even though when we can now do it through the internet, mm -hmm. it's still face to face, and those retail stores have the best opportunity to do that. And so, so you have to change a little bit of what you're doing. You're not just selling widgets, because I can sell that with same widget. What I cannot do is encourage that person how to use it, um, how to do it. Uh, I cannot encourage that person through persuasion or opportunity to go out to the range or come on a hunt with me. Retail stores have to change that what they think they're doing they're creating community and, and building relationships right. and when that happens man you skyrocket so have a coffee with people go out yeah. and and those types of plays those types of things mm -hmm. it's fun yeah absolutely let me uh let me do this here because i think we're, we're making a good transition 
of something I want to talk about. We have over 100 people watching us live. Thanks so much to all the folks out there. I'm going to uh, ask you to smash the thumbs ups, okay? Just do that for us. It would be awesome if we get to 100 thumbs ups here tonight. That would be great. So just please do that. Um, so let me, let, me, let me ask this, because thinking about the future, and I agree with what you're saying, I think um, if we look at this like shoe stores, right, or sneaker stores, People used yeah. to go there because that was the only place that you would get the latest sneakers and stuff like that. Um, now, even with sneakers, if someone knows their size, my I see my kids doing it. Once they know, I buy them online. They, they get they get them online. So it doesn't mean that sneaker stores all have to go away. It's that you have to change what that is. You have to make it a destination for a reason, a reason for the kids to come there and hang out and find out or learn or meet people that they might not meet you know, otherwise. And so you've got to try to make like a community thing there in, in, in order to really do this with people now. Give people a reason to come there and hang out and do something. And then and when they get connected to that place, they'll start shopping there and buying things from you just because they're connected to you now. Do you, do you agree with that? I, I do, and I'll give you examples of where that's been incredibly successful. Where sneakers, sneaker shores, um, have moved from, I've got inventory in the back that I can give you today. Mm -hmm. They've taken out their, a lot of their inventory and now they'll do gate analysis, which is where's you, where do you hit? Does this shoe fit? And then also they'll have events. Mm -hmm. Let's do, let's go do a, a 5k training mm -hmm. or let's go do what they call a dash run. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're taking and they're adding the environment that, that how, where are you going to use your sneakers? And yeah. we're going to be the captain of that ship. Yeah, like mini camps. This is how you do this thing. This is yes. how you do that thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That takes. So, I mean, but it, that does take a lot of work. That's it does not. It, you know, it one does. guy in a sneaker store can't you know run the store and and be out. It, it takes yeah. a crew to do that stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it does take a crew. It does. Right. But you know what the beautiful thing is, Walt? If you think about this in today's world, even if look, we're not even applying this to guns right now, in the in the sneaker game, there's influencers. Right? right now, obviously, we've got a lot of people trying to like everyone wants to be an influencer. I understand that. I actually welcome that. But the thing is, is that you have influencers out there that you can work with. So if you're if you're a guy, let's say, in Gainesville, Florida, where I'm at, and, and you know that there's a, a, a guy in the sneaker world not far from you that's into that, you can start working with that guy instead of you having to do the work. You work with that guy. That's kind of like what you did, Walt, working with me. Right. Uh, if you think yeah, about but, it, that's yeah, kind yeah. of that's <laughs> kind of like what happened here. And I think that there's 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 always opportunities, you know, where one thing goes away, another thing pops up. It's a crazy thing about uh, the universe and nature. Yeah, here's some here's some examples in our industry. Yeah. Um, good buddy of mine. Um, uh, small shop, one one person shop, possibly two, two when he when he can deal with employees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> does a he'll do a ar-15 build for his buddies he'll mm -hmm. come in and he'll sort of show them how to do an ar-15 build and in that process he's building a rapport with them on where to go shoot and where to go hunt and just that local knowledge itself mm -hmm. most people don't realize how much information they have that's shareable with somebody who's just coming into the trade we've been doing it i've been making ars for a long time i think it's simple but for the first time when someone does it for the so first so time. I mean, that spring goes like, like, yeah. bing, changing the, the tubes. I mean, my God. It's, it's magic. Like, so it is magic. Well, you know, I like I, that because I, you buy more springs. But, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, that's well, true. My, my, experience, that on, yeah, my experience, too, is sometimes even the most experienced builders Still put things together wrong. <laughs> and oh, backwards. Backwards. Yeah, that happened. Of course. Oh, of yeah, course. backwards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if, yes. Well, I can't yeah. figure out. I, I don't. I don't know why your upper doesn't work. And it's like, uh, well, it worked when it left here. Did you put that ham? Did you put? Did you take out that uh, uh, the, the disconnector on the trigger because you don't need it on a bolt action? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to do that. Kind of, yeah, that's what you know the instructions that. said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Actually, that happened. We know somebody that happened to, don't we, Hank? What? 
that uh, they took. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, because listen, what, it's easy to do, right? Hey? Well, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. But I do mess up all the time. <laughs> I think the thing is, is like especially so even the even the seasoned. Let's say the seasoned gun guy who believes he doesn't need to read the instructions from the oh, manufacturer oh, yeah. of something he never. <laughs> you might want if you never had one of these before. You might want to read the instructions. You know. Yeah. Well, we had we to do, all do we that. had to do that on <laughs> we had to do that on that uh, high tower armory uh, conversion. Yeah. For the ten twenty two, I think yeah. we actually had to read yeah. the instructions. So first yeah. of all, dudes don't like reading instructions. <laughs> Any pictures. Uh, yeah. There's gotta be pictures. Yeah. This is why the internet. This is why the internet. I, I, if, I tell you what, man. If I don't, if I can't, whether it's a gun or a chainsaw mm-hmm. or whatever I'm working on, it, if I can't figure it out or I got a little question, I'll go, I'll go uh, Google that thing, you know. And next thing you know, I've got, I've got a, and and it's surprising how many people don't use that resource. Yeah, I see Pete and, is uh, checking out a, a comment there. Yeah. Um, which one are you checking out? We'll. By the way, uh, shout out to. Uh, I see Kevin Dixie out there, the real NOC. Shout out to him. He's in. He's out there. Yeah. Um, what's the comment you're you're? It was DCG forty fours. You know, even brick and mortar mom and pop shops can adapt new things like websites, social media, etc. To help yeah. them. Survive. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're, you're nothing, spot on. Nothing else. Nothing else simply hours your operation and what you've got going on. Maybe even <laughs> inventory on stuff. Simple stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or even just yeah. telling people the story of who you are. That's so oh, I, I yeah. like some people underestimate that, you know? Or sharing a video, if you're a bakery, just sharing a video of you making something, I'm gonna look at that video and then I'm not gonna make it, but I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna stop over there. Right. <laughs> and get one of those donuts, maybe two or ten or twenty. Yeah. But you know, I mean this is th- like things, you know. But, this is just the old order going away and the new order coming in. And there's a way for us uh, all to participate in that and not necessarily lose if we want to, if we want to. Right. Um, right. There's, you, there's, some, there's something to be said about good partnerships, too. Uh, you know, one person mm-hmm. shops are pretty tough. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always I've always had a good partner in the business. It was my dad. Got me now. Mm-hmm. And right now we've got some really good ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chad, the guy that kind of runs the show mm-hmm. there at Brownells now, Chad Martin, mm-hmm. does a good job. The social team does a good job. The ops team does a good job. Yeah, I mean, Paul, some and um, I'm trying to remember the guy who thinks yeah, he has Paul, better hair than me. I refuse to remember. No, I know who that. Yeah. <laughs> is it Baron? Um, his, yeah. I know his uh, social media is Baron uh, something. Oh, I don't know his social handle. Yeah. Well, so one of the things we try to do is we take people that are inside our business mm-hmm. and and give them a voice as well. Let them mm-hmm. let their uniqueness show through. Mm-hmm. So these are good partners, and again, trying to help them create their own their own personal brand. Josh, mm-hmm. Josh was the, one of the very first people at, at the shot show that had visible tattoos mm-hmm. back mm-hmm. when we brought him, and it was mm-hmm. this group going, "Why do you got this tattoo?" Who's this guy? guy? Yeah, yeah, tattoos so and piercings and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. don't you go talk to him a bit? Yeah. And now, uh, now it's hard to turn around and uh, not yeah. see someone with a, a nice big beard and yeah. bald head. And some, Absolutely. Some yeah. yeah. So we encourage people to be unique. We encourage you to be unique out there as a gun mm-hmm. shop or a gun person. Find a partner that can help you. You're not going to be great at everything except that early. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, that's Hank, you're the, you're the front stage, and Lola makes things work. It's yeah. a partnership. Right. Exactly. This is this is how we do it. We all do it. Like my what Walter and I are doing is a partnership. We have lots of people. The folks who are here listening, it's a partnership. Yeah. I see some of those yeah, guys yeah, out there. We were just talking about Kevin Dixie. He comes on here. He helps us out. You know, spices it up. Same thing with Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, have, we have lots of different people, by the way. We really try to do that. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.